friends. I hope you're having a good weekend. So today I'm gonna do something really cool that I probably have done in different versions, but it is an angular pixie cut style. So my plan is to blow dry my hair. I've already parted it off to the side here, but my plan is to blow dry my hair and put lots of loose curls in going this way and maybe even a couple like little ringlets at the front. So we will get started. I'm going to start by using a little bit of styling foam. So this one is John Frieda Frizz Ease and this is Air Dry Waves styling foam. Obviously I'm not going to air dry my hair. It has dried a little bit since I just took a shower and put my makeup on. So um, I'm going to put this foam in and get started drying my hair. quite a bit of foam here. Why am I using foam? If I use something like styling foam, my hair will curl even better. Now if you already have naturally curly hair, you still may want to put some extra curls in because it smooths things out, but you might be one of the lucky ones and just have like an immediate pixie style. My daughter has very curly hair and I've always been jealous of her hair because she's got such beautiful ringlets. She wears her hair about here, but she's got the most beautiful curls and she's always had that. I just love her hair. But anyway, she didn't get the curls for me because I have bored straight hair. I can get curl out of it if I scrunch it like this and let it air dry. I'm gonna just comb through here. Okay, so I'm gonna use my new blow dryer. I featured a video on this last week. This is the Ocensia Pro Dryer X, and this is a really good blow dryer. I've been using it all week. Last week was the first time I tried it, because I tried it first on my video, and it is really a good blow dryer. I have been really enjoying it, and it does a great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. I'm just gonna use my fingers and not a round brush or anything, because because I don't want to put any additional curl in from the blow dryer. I just want to get it dry. So here goes. Okay, one more thing I wanna do, since I just blow dried my hair, I'm gonna just give it a real quick cool shot. I did a lot of reading on cool shots with blow dryers, and basically, when you blow dry your hair on hot, if you put in a cool shot at the very end, it kind of lets your cuticles kind of seal up around, and apparently it's supposed to make your hair shinier. So I'm gonna just give it a quick cool shot before I start styling. It doesn't have to be a long period of time. I took a quick little break between blow drying my hair and giving the cool shot, but ideally, once you're done blow drying your hair and your hair is dry, turn it to cool. Do it for 10 seconds or 15 seconds and you're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a couple different things. I'm going to use my Callista hot brush. It is one of my favorite tools. And then for the front, I'm gonna use this really tiny curling iron that's so thin and I was hoping to get some like little ringlets here at the front of my hair. So my goal will be to style it back with a lot of height on top and then put some tighter curls at the front here. If you have a Calista brush like this, the temperature I'm setting this on is 375, which is pretty warm, but that is about the sweet spot for the temperature, at least for my hair texture. Now, if you have really thin hair, you probably don't wanna go this hot. I would 
would probably go down to like 350. This is nice because you can set the temperature with these little up and down buttons here. So while this is heating up, how are you guys doing? How was your week? My week was pretty good. Last weekend, I took Monday off. So I had a four day week, which was nice. My work continues to be a bit stressful, but I have done better the last several days. I just give myself little talks. I'm a senior manager at a curriculum company, and so things are really busy right now. It's summertime. We usually do some big releases in the fall, right before the fall semester, before kids come back to school. And so it's a lot. And of course, everybody's working remotely at my company, and it's a, you know full steam ahead, and there's just a lot going on. So I really have to kind of give myself little talks like, okay, once you just do your day, do your thing, get your stuff done, try to stay organized. And then by the time I sign off at five or six in the evenings on my work days, then I just try to shut it off and not think about work. And I try the best I can to do that on the weekends as well. I don't know if I told you guys this, but my son moved in with us. He's in college right now. He is about to be a junior and he came home in February because of the whole coronavirus deal and he stayed with us for the last three months and then just for a change of pace he decided to stay the rest of his summer with his dad so he went ahead and left but I'm noticing it's weird because it's like oh the house is empty it's just me and my husband it's hard to get used to my son not being around all the time and I'm particularly a little bit sad because we had to cancel our summer vacation this year we usually go down to Orange Beach in Alabama which is right by Florida, but the beaches are beautiful. And we ran a condo for a week and, and this was the week we were gonna be there. So we should have been there right now, unfortunately, because of all the pandemic things going on, we had to cancel that. So I'm feeling a little bit down because of that, but trying to make the best of it. I mean, instead of taking a week off together, I think what I'm missing the most is my family. I'm missing my daughter. I haven't seen her since Christmas. I think was the last time I saw her. They live three hours away. So yeah, I'm missing my daughter. I'm missing my son again. And I'm missing my brother and all his family because they usually meet us there. So I know we will get through this time, but for those of you that are also missing your families, I feel you. Okay, so let's get started with this style. I am going to, for the most part, I'm gonna keep this side not curly at all. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna have all this curly, all this curly and over here to the side curly on this side. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take, I'm gonna just kind of talk this through before I do it. I'm gonna do curls going this way with my styling brush all the way this way. So that's where I'm gonna start. If I have to pin a few things, I might. All right, here we go. Okay, it's coming along nicely. I'm gonna continue going this way off to the right side of my head. different I'm gonna do with the back of my hair. I'm gonna try to come up a little bit so that the back is also full up here. So again, I'm kind of going off to the side here with this back part. Might have to leave it on a little bit longer because the back of my hair typically wants to lay down flat. There we go. Then in the back, I'm just gonna curl and then do a couple curls back here to provide a little bit more texture in the back. All right, so I think I'm done with this now and I'm gonna plug in this little tiny curling iron. And this curling iron is a Hassone. 
H-O-S-O-N. And I got this on Amazon and it also has a temperature gauge and it's set at 175, which is what I used last time. So I will use this temperature setting and I'll just give this a chance to heat up. I don't know what's going on with the weather in your part of the world, but it got hot here. It was like nice and cool all spring. And then it just like something flipped a switch and it got hot. It's been in the probably upper 80s or 90s. And for Arkansas, that is pretty warm because it's so humid here. So we are really feeling it, but thank goodness uh, we have a really good central air. So I'm one of those people that I would rather be chilly than warm. And so we keep our house set at around 69 or 70. All right. I want to put a few more defined curls right here. And then I want to really work on this front area right here. So I'm going to take this piece right here. Yeah, that did a really nice job. And maybe right here. I will put a link to these tools I'm using in the description. Okay, so we've got this piece right here at the front. And I want to put a little bit of spiraling in there. So. The goal will be not to go down or up, but do it completely sideways. Just be very careful not to burn yourself because this gets really hot. thought the looks that had kind of a mixture of tighter curls and looser curls were really pretty on pixie cuts and that's kind of what I'm going for today. The tricky part is going to be how we style it, put a little bit of product on after I'm done curling, which I feel like I'm about done. Okay, I'm going to let you look at the front and the back real quick, just so you can see how it looks before I actually style it. So you've seen the front, there's the top. Okay, so I'm going to use a combination of hairspray and pomade. I'm going to use this American Crew pomade, and this is the medium hold and high shine. I'm looking to make sure that my hair stays shiny, so I'm not going to use my taffy. The taffy seems a little bit more matte, so I'm going to use this today, and I'm going to use quite a bit. So get about that much on my fingers. I'm going to rub it all through my hands. The point is that we don't want to just completely destroy all these curls. We want to keep them somewhat defined, but we want some product on there so we can start really molding this into the style I want. So I'm just gingerly taking my fingers through the hair. Got kind of an 80s look going on right now. And what I'd like to do is kind of really get some product right here so that this is kind of sleek on this side. I think this is too pretty. I have never done a style quite like this before, but it is really pretty. I'm gonna just put another little curl right here. And we'll take a look at the back to make sure it looks good in the back. take a little more of this pomade and put some on the right side down here on my sideburns. What do you guys think? So this is the angular pixie style. I think it turned out really cute. I really like how it looks right here. I think it's adorable. So thank you for coming along with me on this new style. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair with some hairspray. This is Heritage by Minnie McKnight. This is Wiggle Room. So cute. So yeah, let me know if you like the style and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a good week ahead. And I hope all of you are safe and healthy and happy. And with that, 
I will say goodbye and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet I'd love to have you so we will talk to you next week bye